love. Rose Tucker, you and me shared bedpans in the maternity ward. Rose, yes. How are you? Come in. For a minute, I thought you were the health visitor. Oh, I know. They always call when you're under a couple of feet of fluff, don't they? <laughs> Well, how are you? And how's little fish face? Oh, he's got a name now. Roland. Oh, that's nice. Come see him. In here. It's Roland Desmond Jeffrey. Oh, he's growing, isn't he? <laughs> Hello, Roland Desmond Jeffrey. You won't remember me, but I knew you when you were just fish face or thingy. <laughs> Have you had him done yet? <laughs> oh, that's the operation. <laughs> Christened. Oh, no, I keep meaning to get organised. Like a cup of coffee? Oh, a drop of instant would be lovely, if you're sure. I mean, me dropping in like this. I've meant to call, but that baby I had next door to you was my fifth, you know. Yes, I know. How do you manage with five children? Well, six, if you count my husband. <laughs> this latest one was a mistake, I think I told you, and Tom's gone into a sort of decline. Oh, I'm sorry. No, well, it's just a reversal of the roles, really. When I suggest going to bed early, it's my husband who has the headache. <laughs> I say, have you heard from your husband? Well, not husband. Oh, Roland's father. Yes, Alan's in Germany now. He got married, you know. No. And you never told him? Oh, didn't seem much point. No. Here, you wouldn't like to be godmother, would you, at my new one's christening? Oh, Rose. We have a really good knees up after. Oh, but you must know dozens of other people. No, not after four kids, I don't. <laughs> no. You need three godparents each time, don't you? Two men and a female if it's a boy and vice versa. And they have to remember the kids' birthdays and Christmas and send them a present or some money. Have I put you off? <laughs> no, you haven't. I think it's a great compliment. And would you be godmother to Roland? Oh, no, you don't have to... No, I don't. I'd love you to be. I mightn't have even remembered a christening if you hadn't called. Oh. Well, my first two we had done at the same church where they'd done me. That was a proud moment, I can tell you. <laughs> But they did both kick up a bit of a din, and one of them bit the vicar. <laughs> so he was always rather booked up after that. Well, I was christened in a lovely little church just outside London, Trobham. I've seen it. You'd think you were right in the country. I think I'll ring up my mother and find out the number. Oh, Rosa, I'm glad you called. Well, so am I. A country christening. Might even make my Tom smile again. You all right for godfathers? Oh, yes, it's marvellous. There's a very old friend of mine, Roland, that's who the baby's named after. And there's Geoffrey, he just lives across the way. Oh, well, I must be going. You let me know your date and I'll let you know mine. Right. Oh, do you want to borrow the robe? Robe? Christening robe. Well, they cost the earth, but mine's in very good nick. Well, it's only used the one day, isn't it? And none of mine brought anything up over it. <laughs> How marvellous! That's terribly kind of you. Oh, Geoffrey, this is Rose Tucker. She was in the next bed to me when I had Rowley. Oh, what a coincidence. How do you do? Oh, nicely, thanks. Oh. <laughs> well, see you at the knees up then, eh? Right, bye, bye bye. Knees up? Roland's christening. You know, the idea hadn't even occurred to me. And then Rose asked me to be godmother to her child. So I asked her to be godmother to Roland. Now I've got to ring the original Roland and ask him to be godfather. A uh, godfather? Mm. Rose had another marvellous idea, you know. Her first two children were christened in the same church as she was. Only a baby boy usually has two godfathers. Yes, I know. My church was in Chobham. You'd think you were right out in the country. So, uh, Roland's one godfather? Yeah. And now I'm going to ring my mum and find out the phone number. Dear little Roly, he may not have a father, but at least he's going to have a name. So, who's the other one? What? Godfather. <laughs> Now you've made me forget where I was. Sorry. <laughs> well, you, of course. Me? Well, who else did you think? Well, I don't know. He didn't say. Oh, well, who else could it be? <laughs> mm. oh. Silly Nana. <laughs> did you think I was going to hold auditions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just going to ring my, my mum. She'll be ever so thrilled, you know. Do you know this? I've never been asked to do anything irresponsible in my life. But it'll be a great day, you know. I know. Mum? Roland's christening. And listen, I want him to be christened in the same church as I was. St. Beads. St. Beads. That's it. I couldn't remember the name. Listen, have you got the vicar's phone number? Um, well, um. Well. <laughs> well, to be frank, dear, I'm not very happy about St. Beads. Well, why not? You were happy enough when I was dangling over the font. Uh, yes. Well, darling, I'm in circumstances were a little different, weren't they? Oh, we'll have to see, won't we? I'm sure Rowley can scream his head off just as loudly as I did. Yeah, Elizabeth, that's not. I mean, christening photographs, I'm holding a packet of fags because that's the only thing that would shut me up. <laughs> Even when I'm holding a piece of christening cake, I've still got those fags in the other hand. You are missing the point, dear, about some beads. I mean, we used to live in the area and we still have a number of friends there. I mean, there's always the chance that someone might recognise us. 
The verger, a couple of choir boys, a church mouse. Look, all right, all right, all right. I know you think your father and I are desperately old-fashioned. No, not at all, Mum. I mean, the very last thing I'd want is for you to be known as the Chat of Chobham. <laughs> well, I merely think, dear, that if you could find some nice local church... Oh, I will, Mum. I certainly will. But it'll be nice, won't it? People will be able to save on the fares. There are lots of places round here. And, and if you think there's any danger of an army of press photographers, well, with all the Arabs in London, you won't look out of place wearing a heavy veil, will you? <laughs> look, there's the doorbell, Mum. I must go. Elizabeth! Oh, hello, Geoffrey. Did you ring your Mum? I rung mine and she seems to think, and I must say I, I agree with her, that Chobham is a bit far out. Well, when I say far out, I don't mean far out, just far out. <laughs> Geoffrey? What's the matter? I was never christened. Never? Christened? Baptised? Well, my parents never thought about it, you see, and then, then they did think about it and they thought they ought to do something about it, but they didn't. That doesn't make any difference, does it? I'll ask the vicar. Oh, no, Lisa, no, honestly, thanks anyway for asking, but don't add to your troubles. I mean, I mean it's bad enough getting a, getting a child christened with, with no father, but with an unchristened godfather. Listen, I'm going down to St Luke's right now. It's only down the road and it's a lovely old place. And I bet you, Geoffrey, it won't matter one bit about your not having any christening photographs. Mm. <laughs> Come in. I'm Miss Jill. Yes, yes, of course. Now, this will be about the wedding arrangement. No. No. Oh. Oh, no, no, I do beg your pardon. I was thinking of Miss John. It's Jones. Yes, yes, I'm so sorry. Now, do please sit down. About a christening. Oh, indeed. Well, it could hardly be Miss John's, could it, a christening? Her band's not due to be called until next week. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mrs. Jones, do you worship at St Luke's? Miss. Miss? Jones. <laughs> Miss Jones? You're the... Mother, yes. And I have a two-month-old son named Roland Desmond Jeffrey, and we'd like it made official, please, at St Luke's. I've passed it so many times, and I've thought, what a super-looking church. You've passed it. <laughs> St Luke's. Yes, that's what I said. And I thought, what a super-looking... But you never came in. Church. You never entered our portal. No. Well, I was always at a bit of a dash, you see, to work. Even on Sunday. And then I had Roland Desmond, Desmond Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Miss Jones, but before you had Roland Desmond Jeffrey. Well, I told you. I thought what a super-looking church. As you rushed by. <laughs> yes. Even on Sunday. Well, on the Sabbath thou shalt rest, don't they say? I believe I've heard a similar phrase. <laughs> and anyway, my Mickey Mouse alarm's gone on the blink. But I often thought about the evenings. Ah, you came to evening service. <coughs> evening? Yes. Yeah. No. No. I thought I hadn't seen you amongst our congregation. Never miss stars on Sunday. Noel Gordon should be flattered. <laughs> and religious films, I mean any religious films, whether they're on the telly or at the pictures. You almost never miss them. Never, never. And I've told everyone about this place. As you rushed by. <laughs> All the people in the other flats. And I, I'm going to get them into a routine on Sundays. And this is the church I'm definitely going to recommend. Miss Jones. I don't know what your hymn singing is like here, Vicar, but we'll swell it. We'll certainly swell it. Thank you. Pleasure. Miss Jones, how long have you been living locally? Locally? Yes, near the church you keep rushing by. Ah. Oh. Well, a year. A year. Or two. Two years. Or perhaps three. <laughs> Look, what is this inquisition? Is it a rule that you have to... Attend church regularly? Of course not. That's entirely up to your conscience. But it seems to some of us, and I must confess that I am one of them, it seems to us that it is within our rights to refuse to baptise a child or perform the marriage service, where the people involved are not, have not availed themselves of our services before. Our everyday spiritual services, even our Sunday spiritual service. I've told you, I'll come from now on. So you say. And I'll bring all my friends. So you say. Well, good Lord, Vicar. I mean, good heaven. I mean, good grief. <laughs> I don't have to come to St Luke's. No. No. Just the part of us down the road. Have you been there or just rushed by? <laughs> what? The vicar of St Barnabas happens to share my opinion. Oh, does he? Mm. Does he? Well, there's always Pascal Lane Church. I've seen the vicar there. He's a sweet, white-haired old man, not a mass of prejudice like you and St Barnabas. 
Uh, the Reverend John Randall is indeed a sweet, white-haired old man, but regrettably now too old to undertake christenings. He's a little worried lest he might give the baby an accidental swim. <laughs> oh, is he? Is he? Well, I'll find someone, don't you worry. Someone with a little Christian charity. Because if I may be absolutely frank, Vicar, I don't think your objection is really to the fact that I've never been to St Luke's. I think it's much more to do with the fact that I'm Miss Jones and not Mrs. Well, thank your lucky stars that I didn't tell you the full story. Because A, I've never listened to one of your pompous and pretentious sermons. B, I'm an unmarried mother, therefore C, my son is illegitimate. But also D, Geoffrey, who is one of the prospective godfathers, was never christened. How does that grab you, Mr Wells? Oh, it grabs me, Miss Jones. <laughs> It grabs me very tightly, indeed. In the first place, I believe you absolutely when you say that you're going to try and get into the habit of church going again. I won't hold you to your promise of swelling our congregation with your own personal backing group. But I think I can promise you that if you and they come, you will not find my sermons either pompous or pretentious. And while we're about it, why don't we have a double baptism? You mean? Let's christen Geoffrey. <laughs> <laughs> All those people are going to be turning up just for you. Every eye will be on you. You'll feel just like Sir John Gielgud or Rod Stewart. <laughs> now, you stay there, darling. Hey? There you are. And think about your big day coming up. Uh, Liz, I'm sorry. Look, I can't go through with it. Having water sprinkled on my bonds at my age. <laughs> oh, Geoffrey, they probably don't do it the same as for babies. Well, how do they do it then? Well, I don't know. Perhaps it just touches you with a damp hanky. <laughs> I'm sorry, Liz, look, I can't do it. Of course you can do it, Geoffrey. And you'll be first, just think of that. Like all those couples in the generation game who want to get the worst over with early. Do you mean worst? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. No, I mean... I'm sorry, Liz, I'm sorry. I'm not going to stand up there in front with everybody laughing and giggling at me. People don't giggle in church. Well, they will when they hear my name. Do I have to give my full name? Yeah, I think so. Why? What is it? Promise you won't laugh. <laughs> Promise. Geoffrey? Yeah, well, I know that, don't I? Eustace. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> you promise you're not laughing? Oh. <laughs> you see, I was named after a couple of uncles. You, you know, like you named Roland after yeah, your dad yes. and me. All right, Geoffrey. Geoffrey Eustace. <laughs> Cuthbert. <laughs> You're laughing! Yeah, you see, that's probably why I was never christened. I mean, my mum and dad must have had the wind up about people laughing about and falling about all over the aisles. I mean, the initials are bad enough. What, GEC? Yeah, General Electric Company. <laughs> At school, they always called me Sparky. Oh, sorry, would you? Yeah. <coughs> Mum, Dad, you know Sparky, don't you? <laughs> Jeffrey. Oh, well, you're the other godfather with Roland. Yes, well, Liz did ask me. Yes, of course he's the other godfather. Only I'm a bit worried. You see, I've never been christened. Oh, I think I can hear your telephone ringing, Jeffrey. No, it's not. No, but it's going to. <laughs> what does he mean he's never nothing, been... Nothing, nothing. Would you like a cup of coffee? Uh, never christened, he said. Uh, black or white? Elizabeth. Look, don't worry, Mum. He'll be Jeffrey Eustace Cuthbert in plenty of time. Uh, not baptised, he said. No, but he will be. And Roland's other godfather has just married a divorced woman. You haven't mentioned a godmother, unless, of course, you've selected a fallen woman. <laughs> of course not. Good, because I thought that my sister Joan would be a good choice. We've sounded her out and she was very pleased. Yes, and she's produced your christening robe. Well, it's been in the family for years. Yes, she, she saved it for when you had a baby. Little did we know the circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> Mary. Mum, yes. I've chosen a godmother. 
And I'm going to be godmother to her child. But look, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry about Auntie Joan, Dad. But she can still come to the christening, can't she? And the knees up afterwards. <laughs> knees up? <laughs> uh, whom have you chosen, Elizabeth? Rose Tucker. Rose Tucker? <laughs> she was in the vet next bed to me when I had Rolly. That woman? With the husband who was always nipping out of the whiskey flask. <laughs> well, at least she's christened and married, and so's he. Hello, love. Oh, hello. Nice hello. to meet you again. <laughs> Oh, a real family gathering. Well, this calls for celebration. Uh, anyone care for a snifter? No. <laughs> we won't stop, love. I've just brought the christening robe. Four boys and not a mark on it. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Yes, who's speaking? It's Alan. Alan? He's calling from Germany. Who's Alan? Oh, this is going to crown your day, Mum. It's Roland's father. <laughs> Alan? <laughs> Am I? What? No, why? It sounds like you've got a party going. Well, look, if you are celebrating anything, I'll phone just at the right moment. Liz, I'm going to be a father. Here? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, my wife's just had it confirmed. We're both over the moon. Oh, well, um, congratulations, Ali. You must be. Well, Emma wants a girl, of course, but I'm just dying for a boy like your little fella. Has he been christened yet? What are you calling him? Uh, Roland, but listen, Alan. If ours is a boy, well, we haven't chosen a name yet, but if it's a girl, we're going to call her Elizabeth. After you, Liz. I've told Emma all about you and me. Oh. What? But, uh, nothing. Um, look, there's a bit of a pre-christening party going on here, Alan. I can't hear you very well. Sorry. Uh, when's the big day? The 12th. Look, I must go. Uh, all right. Well, give my regards to your husband. My husband? Hey, Geoffrey. My God, you are in the state. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, I am. Um, look, congratulations, Alan, you know, on the baby, and um, thanks for ringing. Bye. Mr Tucker? Tom? Tom? I will have that drink, please, a large one. Ah. <laughs> uh. Anyone want one for the font? Tom, please. <laughs> Thank you, darling, for using our christening gown. It's made such a difference to your mother and Joan. And see how happy they both look. <laughs> Except I do think those smiles might be slightly due to all that sparkling wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Geoffrey, you do look smart. Right, thanks. Uh, brand new suit, you know. <laughs> Mind you, I could have saved myself some money. Oh. I could have used the other christening robe. <laughs> Come along now, we ought to be going in. Oh, all right, Roland. His christening present was miles better than mine. Nonsense. Well, a beautiful inscribed silver mug. Yes, but your wooden napkin ring was very original. <laughs> was it? Oh, thanks. You see, the bank was closed and they were having a sale in the Indian shop. Excuse yes. me, Liz, where's the baby? Oh, well, my mother's got him. No, she hasn't. What? Mum? Oh, we lucky with the weather, dear. Where's, where's Roland? What do you mean? Where's the baby? But he came with you. No, he didn't. Are we ready, Miss Joan? What? No. Really? Something gone amiss? Yes, the leading character has. <laughs> Look, I thought you said he was going with you and Auntie Joan. No, but dear, then I thought Roland was driving you. I mean, this Roland, not the baby. <laughs> I know which Roland you mean. Mine hasn't passed his test yet. <laughs> Dad, yes, dear. where's Roland? Well, we thought you, we were bringing him, but then we oh found out... Oh, my God! What's up, Liz? What? still at home. I'll drive you there. Right. Look, if you'll push for time, you can start with Geoffrey. <laughs> Roly. Oh, Roly. Oh, how could you forgive me so quickly? Hey, why don't you pull me out? No, no. Better not bore me out, hey? We don't want any more of those packets of fags pictures, do we? Can I help? Just coming. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. The first big event of your little life. The audience was there and the supporting cast, but no star. Oh, hello. Are you anything to do with christening? Yes, I'm a godfather. Oh, good, then I'm not too late. You just told me the date, but not the place. I've just flown in from Germany on a job, but... Alan Sadler. Uh, Roland Wellington. Ah, uh, Roland. She named the baby after you, did she? Yes. Didn't her husband mind? Husband? Jeffrey. Well, I met him here last time I was in London. 
Oh, really? Uh, yes, well, then... It is Geoffrey she's married to, isn't it? What? Well, I don't really think it's up to me to... Geoffrey is not her husband. Honestly, I'd rather you spoke to Who, then? As I say, I think it'd be better she if you She is spoke... married, isn't she? Well, well, look, don't say I asked, but uh, you can tell me I'm an old friend. Well, no, she isn't actually married, but uh, her parents have been very understanding. And I gather she was in love with the baby's father for three or four years, so... Well, you know, it's just one of those... <laughs> Hello, Liz. I've just flown in from Germany. I came here on the off chance. Well, I remember the date, but you never mentioned the church. Oh, no, I, I didn't, did I? Well, well actually, Alan... M may I? Oh. Hello, Roland. I'm Alan. It's grown since I last saw him. They do tend to get bigger, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Liz, we ought to be going. Oh, uh, right, Roland. Um, would you put Roly in the car? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, bye, Roly. Enjoy yourself. Goodbye. But well, you'll see him at the church. You'll probably hear him, too. Alan? Uh, no, you must go. Yes, but before we get to the christening... Uh, sorry, Liz, I can't make the christening. You can't? Sorry, literally a flying visit. I get on the plane tonight. And I haven't been to the office yet. That's why I said goodbye to Rowley just now. It's goodbye to you too. Goodbye, Alan. And good luck. Oh, um... Damn, I must have left this christening present behind. <laughs> That's nothing. I nearly left Rowley behind. No. Would you believe? Of you? Anything. <laughs> Child. Jeffrey Eustace Cuthbert. <laughs> Jeffrey Eustace Cuthbert. I baptize thee. Who names this child? Roland Desmond Jeffrey. Roland, Desmond, <coughs> Jeffrey, what? <laughs> Alan, <laughs> I baptize thee. Well, at least we didn't cry. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, love. Rose Tucker. You and me shared bedpans in the maternity ward. Oh, Rose, yes. How are you? Come in. For a minute, I thought you were the health visitor. Oh, I know. They always call when you're under a couple of feet of fluff, don't they? <laughs> well, how are you? And how's little fish face? Oh, he's got a name now. Roland. Oh, that's nice. Come see him in here. Roland Desmond Jeffrey. Oh, he's growing, isn't he? <laughs> Hello, Roland Desmond Jeffrey. You won't remember me, but I knew you when you were just fish face or thingy. <laughs> Have you had him done yet? <laughs> I don't mean the operation. <laughs> Christened. Oh, no, I keep meaning to get organised. Like a cup of coffee? Oh, a drop of instant would be lovely if you're sure. I mean, me dropping in like this. I've meant to call, but that baby I had next door to you was my fifth, you know. Yes, I know. How do you manage with five children? Well, six if you count my husband. <laughs> this latest one was a mistake, I think I told you, and Tom's gone into a sort of decline. Oh, I'm sorry. No, well, it's just a reversal of the roles, really. When I suggest going to bed early, it's my husband who has the headache. <laughs> So have you heard from your husband? Well, not husband. Oh, Roland's father. Yes, Alan's in Germany now. He got married, you know. No. And you never told him? Oh, I didn't 